Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video, and it's a pretty nice video. After my break away, I've been setting up my new channel, Shaky Hands Shed, to do with model railways, so I've done a few videos there, so now I'll be splitting my time between this channel and that channel just to keep the interest lively for myself more than anything so it doesn't get too much of a grind cars all the time or trains all the time anyway here's the example we're setting off with a corgi adams probe which has seen better days it's probably done as much mileage on its roof as on its wheels but a lot of people think a lot of the later Wiz Wheels designs from Corgi were fictitious and some probably are but in the main unbelievably most were real and this was a real car it was two brothers called Dennis and Peter Adams they were designers for Marcos cars and split away and the probe was an experiment in how far they could push radical car design it's actually just 34 inches tall it sits on 10 inch mini wheels roughly thereabouts 10 inch minis and it has an 1800cc Austin B series engine which if, for those of you in the know, it's basically the same engine from the MGB GT. And PJ isn't going to be too impressed with me coloured pink this month after his last month's one. But it wasn't intentional as I didn't realise they were this colour. Well, the originals weren't this colour and it's this they've been redone this colour for a reason but the originals were more stayed colours anyway here we are removing the base as per a couple of in outs and there we go in with the drill and later on you might get that in out the in out reference some might have got it now but I think the lot won't get it because it's it's a quick reference but I'm not saying too much see who gets it and here we go we're just flipping the base off and yeah they did have there were only three of these cars made one went to the member of a popular punk pop group at the time and he gave it as a birthday present to the drummer it's all lookable up if you want to know names and everything and um, it's on wikipedia if you look Adam's up Adam's probe car on Wikipedia, so it's a fascinating read. But there was a couple went to famous people and one not so famous. All three cars are still in existence. One was actually a there'll be a photo of it later. And I'll not say why it was famous, but it featured on top gear as a potential restoration car and it was beaten pip to the post in the vaulting by Paddy Hopkirk's Mini but has since been restored by someone else and they're yeah, just doing a bit of wire wheel wire wheel wire wheel wire wheel wire wheel, wire wheel, wire wheel, wire wheel and there we go anyway here I'm just 
you getting the idea of the colour? The first layers going on. Gets much deeper than that, yeah. And here we go. Monster in this colour now. For a reason I'll tell you after. But that's what this is why it's famous. A notorious car. And there we go. And this is the one that was on top gear. Somebody had had a go at restoring it and it was in yellow. And it's since been fully restored. So he's on on the circuit or whatever. All three are in existence as I say. But that was the one that was beaten at the post. By Paddy Opkirk's Rally Mini. Which is fair game, I suppose. Somebody's got to win and somebody's got to come second. But yeah, I'd have preferred this one for its notorious fit. It's really good looking car. Um, very much out there. Is the interior you more or less laid out and I don't think a chunky geezer like me would get under that steering wheel I think it's very much for anorexic teenagers yeah I don't think I'd be in there you'd not so much go head first through the windscreen and submarine through the pedal box But yeah, unusual steering wheel. I don't know how I'd take to that. I bet it's got some flap and play in it. And anyway, I decided to go an unusual route. I decided to gold leaf the wheels. Just to spruce them up a bit. To go with the colour I'm hating it. And the interior is going to the correct black. Whether Corgi did um different colours in the thoughts that they'd be like what do you call it? Different colours at some point. And here we're polishing the screen. There's a lot of the bubble screen and the sliding roof on it and there's a bit of a crack in it but it's livable with. I have about three more of the these Corgi probes so I could have probably hunted through for a better one but I just grabbed the first one at hand if I'm fully honest. And here we are installing the wheels again. And I've gone Martin Durr's route this time. And used some rivets. If you've not seen him, pop over and look at his channel. Martin Durr's does some great restorations. And what I'm doing here, I'm just spraying the silver panel on the roof. And here we are, I'm just super duper gluing some rivets to it. And anyway, here's the notoriety. The car was the car in Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. And it was actually named Durango 95 by the cast in the film. And, and you'll obviously, if you've seen the film, get phrases like ultra violence and in out and if you're under 14 don't say I advised you to go and watch the film but anyway here's the finished result and it's finished in oh it's flipping heck that American colours Createx and it's Createx Pearl Sangerine and it's spread over a base of silver sparkle and on top and in I mixed in the paint some cosmic sparkle as well to add to the pearl 
and then clay coated over the top and it's given an absolutely stunning finish it's really deep and the sparkles are in there it looks well and there we go that's about it hope you've enjoyed me homage to Stanley Kubrick's Durango 95 and if you have if you've not subscribed already please subscribe if you have subscribed thank you for sticking with me and if you could after you've pressed the subscribe button it'd be marvellous if you press the bell for notifications and even better give me a thumbs up anyway take care out there folks and tatty bye tatty pie